40 years. We've done investigations literally all over the world. It's a combination of uh, data acquisition, uh, data analysis, uh, occasionally some in-depth data mining. Our ability to uh, draw meaningful conclusions that link the who to the when to the where. With your work, when you gave congressional testimony, now that was in the year 2014. Skilled contractors and put together a plan to see where the data would take us. What great From your phone, your cell phone is delivering information to apps that are collecting that ping, so there are four key coordinates, the lat long, the elevation, and the time. And with that data, we can then build a pattern of life around you. So that phone's here right now, well, where's it gonna be? At so we went in, we decided to do the Atlanta metro area because it picks up some rural areas, it picks up some urban areas, it picks up some suburban areas. 309 drop boxes in, in the area. And we thought, okay, well, this is a pretty good test. We, in essence, sort of fenced around those. Geofencing. Geofencing. So and then we were able to make purchase of data of people that had been near those drop boxes, but also near the organizations. Across the country, we bought 10 trillion signals. When they give you this data, this data that you then have to go through, what does this data look like? Well, it's a massive data transfer. We have more than a petabyte of data. You're talking about transacting hundreds of terabytes, so it's a significant move. We identified in Atlanta 242 people that went to an average of 24 drop boxes in eight organizations. There's an organization that tracks the device IDs across all violent protests around the world. We took a look at our 242 mules in Atlanta, and sure enough, dozens and dozens and dozens of our mules show up on the ACLID databases. So we're gonna show you a visual, a pattern of life that someone can see and look at rather than just a whole spreadsheet of numbers, being able to look at it in this manner. What you see here on the screen is a single person on a single day in Atlanta, Georgia. They went to 28 drop boxes in five organizations in one day. What are the orange dots? Those are drop boxes. And what is the blue tracks? That is a smoothed out pattern of life so that we could take the sort of the movement of the individual cell phone signals, marry them together into something that's visual so that you can see movement on the individual to get to some of these drops. Now let's move over to Arizona. In How Phoenix. many mules in Arizona? A little over 200. A in, little over 200. In, in Phoenix alone. The reason I think... But our initial look was in Milwaukee. Gross numbers were a little down, but the average number of visits to the drop boxes was up. So instead of having only 24 unique visits, I think we averaged 28. I mean, maybe Wisconsin. I've heard people in... And then let's go to Michigan. Uh, we have more than 500 mules that we've identified in Michigan. Again, the number of boxes is lower. Now, we're in Biden, the election. Philadelphia alone, we've identified more than 1,100 mules at rates well beyond anything we'd seen. Team got to work. You could see visually that there were only a handful of unique devices that could possibly have pulled the trigger. There's one box in Gwinnett County that had a chain of custody document with 1,962 ballots noted on this. And first of all, that's roughly 10 times what we normally see. We sorted through the geodata, found a few hundred people. Okay, well, that's pretty odd. We have video of all of this. And guess what it shows? 271 people approached that ballot drop box during that 25-hour period, 